Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Maths Booth. Today I am here with class tenth from New NCERT textbook, chapter pair of linear equation in two variables. In this video, we are going to learn exercise three point one, question number five. Let us see the question here. Half the perimeter of rectangular garden whose length is four meter more than its width is thirty six. That means perimeter of the garden is thirty six half perimeter. Find the dimension of the garden. Okay, this problem is from a uh, graphical method exercise. So let us solve this by graphical way only. First, let us see. Let us frame the equation. Pair of linear equation. Two equation here. Here they have given half the perimeter. First, we know that perimeter of rectangle is perimeter of rectangle we all know perimeter of rectangle is two length plus breadth okay but here they have given half perimeter half perimeter of rectangle is what half into length plus breadth is equals to what they have told 36 half perimeter of rectangle is 36 this we will see whose length and breadth what they have discussed we will see but as per the question half perimeter is 36 Half perimeter formula is half two l plus b. I forgot to write two here, so two two got cancelled. So length plus breadth is equals to thirty six. We got. Now let us assume let the length of rectangle be length of rectangle that is rectangular garden. Okay, rectangular garden b x. Let us take as meter no, and d. Width of rectangular garden is y meter. Okay. Now what they have as per the question, what they have told, length is four more than its width. Okay. Length. Let us see. Length is what? Length x is four more than its width. It is four more than more means plus four more than its width. So this is the Condition here, and I have written here length plus breadth is what we got thirty six. Length what we have taken, length is nothing but x. Breadth is y is equals to thirty six. This is our first equation, and this let us write in proper standard form. X y I'll bring here minus y is equal to four. This is equation two. Now they have given this in a graphical method uh, exercise. So let us solve graphically this hmm? here. First equation I'll write x plus y is equals to thirty six and second equation x minus y is equals to four. We all know that how to solve graphically. We'll make small box and we'll take x and y value and same like previous problem x value zero we will consider and y value zero. Same thing for this also question table we will make x y. And here x value we will consider zero and y value we will consider zero. Now we have to solve this. Let us solve first one. If x zero, y is equals to nothing but thirty six. Y is equals to thirty six. So okay. Then same thing. If y zero, y place what we we'll, what we will write zero is equals to thirty six. So zero we have to leave x is equals to we got thirty six. Let us see here same thing now. X place I'll write zero minus y is equals to four and y is equals to this minus sign will go to answer minus four. Okay, so y is equals to minus four. Same way we'll do x as it is and y place zero is equals to four. X is equals to this minus is in zeros place so it go on with zero so x is equals to what we got four. Let us plot the graph now. Here I have taken a graph sheet, but in this I have taken four table. Always we used to take zero, one, two, three, four, five. Here also plus minus one, minus two, minus three. Above plus one, plus two. But in this uh, graph I have taken four tables. Why? Because we have got a big values like thirty six. So I have taken four tables. So what I will write in scale? We should write the scale always. So I will write in scale x axis is equals to one centimeter is equals to four units, and y axis is equals to one centimeter is equals to four units. So I have taken here four four units, both side 
negative positive so let us start solving first graph here i have drawn the table but still i have taken here as x value 0 x value is 0 y value is 36 this is x and y is a vertical line so we will see where it comes that x 0 y 36 okay here mark we have to mark then x 36 this is the x axis x 36 y 0 0 is here only so i'll mark here so we got first uh, line graph so i'll just join so let us join this this is the line graph for first equation let us see the second values i have taken here x 0 y we got minus 4 so x 0 and y x value is 0 y we got minus 4 so this value okay then x plus 4 and y 0 plus 4 is here and y 0 0 in this same line so we will just draw the line here like this exactly proper way we have to take this line yes and we got the answer as x is equals to 20 y is equals to 16 so this is the answer x value we got as 20 and y value as 16 point of intersection so this complete the question number 5 of exercise 3.1 in my next video i am coming up with the next problems do like and share thank you